Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike here, man. Um, I just want to kind of give you guys an idea of, you know, what tack, uh, in my personal opinion, this is this in no way label me as an expert. I'm just a regular guy, just like you guys, just breaking down film based on my own personal knowledge. You know what I'm saying? So um, this is a, a, a short breakdown of what tack can and cannot do. And just my personal opinion, what he should have done in these certain plays. Um, so let's get straight down to it, man. Um, again, bro, is if this is um, something that you would like to see um, uh, more from me, just let me know. Leave your comments below. Um, just say, Matt, Mike, I want to see such and such player. So um, just let me know what you guys think about this breakdown, man. But this is Tack McKinley, man. My personal opinion on what he could have done on these plays so let's get straight to the first one um um here we go um i think this is the yeah he's lined up at top um in coverage and me personally looking back at tack i'm gonna go back a couple of uh increments but um personally i think he just looks a little bit out of his element to be honest man um um, he doesn't necessarily have the the hips, but you're not asking him to do too much, so uh, it, it's not bad. Um, he does close on the ball well, um, but at the same time, like this is something I just don't want to see Tack in coverage a lot. Uh, he's up top, um, makes a good play on the ball. He closes well. Um, again, man, this is something we're gonna see it from another angle, but this is something that I just don't want to see Tack, man. Like again, it's Tack. Um, He's lined up as a 3-4 outside linebacker, and he closes well. I just don't like his hips, all right? Again, he doesn't have, you know, good enough feet for me personally to consistently put him in position to do that, but he plays it well. Um, again, man, you don't ask for him to do much, too much, and, you know, uh, again, man, this is something, me personally, I just don't want to see a lot from Tech. Okay, some different things. Um, we're going to go up top. This is against the Cowboys. Um, I think this is where, for me personally, I think Tack should use a little bit more IQ and diagnosing the situation. Um, me personally, I think this is where he should have uh, tried to get his hands up instead of, you know, just solely focusing on um, getting to the quarterback. All right. Again, this is just my personal opinion on it. Um, we're going to see, we're going to see it right now. He sends him in motion, comes off and tack. He should have felt that. Me first, I thought he should have at least felt that, but he didn't. He kept going, um, and allow, like you should have saw the running back coming. You should have saw the running back coming. You should have saw that. But again, man, you don't want to put um, tack in position where he has to think a lot. You just want him to um, get out to the quarterback. Again, man, I would like to see him get his hands up to kind of bat the ball down, but he takes the outside and goes out the quarterback. Yeah, he hit him, but, you know, in that situation, I thought if he would have at least gotten his hands up or diagnosed the situation, um, it would have been less of a game. Um, but, yeah, man, um, that's a good play by Tack, man. Again, don't want to be too harsh on him. Did a, a very good job there. I'm um, going to see it from another angle also. And, and for me personally, um, again, I want to see more of Tack, you know, using this IQ and not necessarily just solely focusing on getting at the quarterback. I think that tremendously hinders not only the defense, but him as a player. He becomes more of a threat for me personally if he continues to um you know use his iq getting his hands up batting the ball down strip sacks and things of that nature man that like for me personally i think that makes you even more of a dangerous um defensive end defensive player if you can do more than one thing just solely focusing on getting after the quarterback so um we're gonna see it from another angle also man um he sent him in motion but tag he doesn't feel it again man we're gonna see it shortly um this is Zeke right here. He comes out and he takes the inside um, and goes out. Like he, he does a great job of selling it. But me personally, again, man, there's something for me personally. Tack didn't do anything wrong. 
but I would like to see him um, use his IQ a bit more. So this is the last play that I want to show you guys. This is um, Seattle. Um, Tack is, is up top. And it comes on. He goes through. And he does a great job. This is one of the best things that, you know, Tack does well. And that's his bull rush. He's very good at that bull rush. But um, his entire... His entire arsenal, for me personally, is just predicated on that bull rush. So if you can get a secondary move, whether it's the bull rush and rip, he just tries to go through him. And I think that's the reason why he ends up injured a lot is because he tries to go through the offensive alignment. So if he can get the bull rush or fake bull rush and, you know, rip the guy, like that right there can be something incredibly, um, a, a incredible a move for tech but he has to expand on that that bull rush he can't continue to get use that bull rush man um so when it all comes down to it man your boy tech is a, a pretty good player um i think he's definitely one of those players um and i'm gonna give you one more play this is just one more play man tech is up top um here he comes out um he does a great job personally i think he does a great job of using his hands right here um and getting around the the left tackle man and and like i said man tack is one of those players man he definitely has the the talent but he has to use he just doesn't have a, this is something that chuck smith always says you have to have a pass for his plan you can't just go up there you know um you know you can't just go up there with absolutely no plan and that's that's the issue that the falcons in general outside of grady jared these guys just don't have a plan. Here's great. Uh, here's tack. He uses hands well, and he gets around the tackle. Like if he can continue to expand on his moves, man, and use those moves, you know, in its entirety. Great hand play, man. Look, tack has the talent. All right, I'm not gonna sit here and just you know pick on tack. Tack, tack definitely has the talent, but he has to expand on his pass rush moves. So let me know what you guys think about this, man. Um, I know I've been critical of Tech for a while, but man, um, again, man, if we can just get him consistently on the field, man, we know that Tech definitely has the ability. Um, he does ha definitely has the talent, and you know uh, he's going to be a free agent uh, at the end of the season. So maybe the Falcons can get some type of, um, you know, some type of compensation for him instead of just using uh, losing him entirely. Um, but let me know what you guys think about this, man. Continue to support your boy here at Mad Mike Sports, man. This has been a Tack McKinley film breakdown. Um, if you guys enjoy what you have seen, continue to support your boy, man. Um, and like I said, leave your comments below if you want to see more, man. Just let me know. Um, but this has been your boy, Mad Mike film breakdown. And I'm gone, baby. Peace.